Hi everyone and thanks for checking out this video on how I use the Boss GT1000 in a live setting. Um, basically what I found is that when I set my patches up at home through studio monitors or maybe a small FR, FR speaker then when I take them out to a gig they always sound far too toppy and probably got a bit too much bottom end in as well um, and all the mids just seem to disappear. Um, now to counteract that I could easily use the global EQ setting um, within the GT1000 but the problem with that is what I have tended to find is that I really need a global EQ setting for overdriven patches and a different global EQ setting for cleaner patches so the way I've sort of worked around that is to use the stomp box feature so for example this is um, my normal sort of rock rhythm type sound which I would use um, in a live environment and this is it EQ'd to sound okay through studio monitors <laughs> Okay, so that sounds okay through studio monitors, but uh, if I now take that out and put it through a decent sized PA at full on gig volume, that sounds super toppy and all the mids seem to be lost. So what I've done is I've uh, got this EQ block here, which sits uh, after the speaker sim, but before the main output and it essentially puts in a high cut at 4K, rolls a bit of the, the spiky uh, high end off at 2K as well, and just uh, rolls some of the boomy low end off. Now, if I now play it with this EQ block engaged through studio monitors, it will sound relatively muffled. So here we go. <laughs> So as you can hear, that's much more muffled than than it was previously with the, when the EQ block was disengaged. However, with that EQ block in uh, through a big PA, that sounds absolutely fine. All the brightness is restored, but you don't get the brittleness because we've got that that 4K um, high cut. Now, uh, because I've assigned this EQ block to stomp box 10 and I've just labeled it rock EQ what it means is if I now switch to for example my rock solo sound um, exactly the same settings will automatically be applied to that as well because I've assigned the same stomp box to it so okay so without the EQ engaged through studio monitors um, to get a decent sound through studio monitors, here's how it sounds. And if I now engage the EQ, again, it'll sound quite muffly by comparison. which isn't really uh, a great sound to use in a studio environment, but in a live environment, that sounds fine because all the uh, top end that we're rolling off here comes through loud and clear in a sizable PA at volume. So by using this stomp box feature, what it means is if I now get to a gig and I think, well, all my rock uh, settings, uh, I'm in a particularly, um, a particularly dull room, so I don't really need a cut at 4K, I need a cut at let's say 6.3. Because I've now made that change on the rock solo setting, if I now switch back to my rock rhythm patch, I won't have to make the same change again because the whole point of using a stomp box is that you make the change in one place and then it's applied to every other patch automatically which features that stomp box. So I've now gone back to my rock rhythm patch and sure enough, the high cut has now automatically been changed from, six point, uh, from four sorry, to 6.3. So um, 
this is the this is the stomp box that I would use for all my rock based sort of patches. Um, similar principle applies to my clean patches. So if we have a look at this particular patch, which is based on the boutique um, preamp, this um, this is how it would sound normally when it's sort of uh, EQ'd to sound okay through studio monitors. And if I now engage the EQ, again, it will sound quite muffled by comparison. Again, although it may sound muffled through studio monitors, through a big PA at volume, that EQ setting, well, to my ears anyway, sounds f absolutely fine. So similarly, any other patches that I have are basically clean in nature. Uh, for example, the next patch here, which is just called Funky Clean, which is basically very similar to the previous one, but just with a phaser engaged. That also uses that same EQ block as the boutique clean patch. So for example, if I were to now um, change the high cut, let's say to 8K on this funky clean patch, if I now switch back to boutique clean, you'll see that that high cut will automatically have changed from whatever it was set at five, I think it was, um, up to eight because these stomp boxes are effectively a global feature. They will uh, automatically change uh, right across the board. So here's that funky clean setting with the EQ disengaged. And here it is with the EQ engaged. So this is how I'd use it live, but as you'll hear through studio monitors, it's gonna sound a bit more muffled. So essentially what it now means is I've got two global EQs. I've got one global EQ, which I've called boutique EQ, and that's my clean settings. And if we just look at the stomp box list, I've got another EQ down here, which is my rock EQ setting. So when I get to a gig, I only have to, uh, and I'm EQing my sounds to suit the room, I only really have to change two things. I have to change this stomp box EQ and the rock one, and that's it. So any patches which are based on my clean stomp box EQ or my rock stomp box EQ, will all automatically be changed. So rather than going through and having to change, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, however many patches you use, the chances are you'll only ever have to change two and then everything else automatically applies. I hope that all makes sense. My patches are available for free download by using the link in the comments section below. Uh, I hope you have found this uh, a useful video and thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.